question one which of the drawings a to d show so you have to match this portion of fractions with the figures on the right hand side first of all we will calculate it and then we will match accordingly so here you can see two times one over five so a figure must have two same figures so this is not and this is also having three figures so this cannot be your answer so b and d can be your answer further we have to check 1 over 5 it is one part of 5 so it is two parts only it cannot be the answer so it means d is your answer so if you want to check so one portion is shaded out of 5 and this is two times therefore 2 into 1 by 5 first part second 2 into 1 over 2 now b is the only option here so we can match it and we can also check only one portion is shaded out of two that is what means one by two and multiply two means the same thing is happening two times third three into two over three so two portions will be shaded out of three this is not the case this is the case you can see two are shaded out of three and the same figure is repeated three times that is your third and the last one is the only left one but we can check one is shaded out of four and this will continue till three times so this is how you match your question that was your question number first second some pictures a to c are given below tell which of them show now same thing we have to do as we did in previous question in abc so first is three times so this cannot be your answer because it is two times only this and this is one of your answers so one is shaded out of five so this is not the case this is the case one out of five so this repeats three times so we can connect it and also three out of five in the last figure the output so we will match it now second two times one over three so you can see two figures are here and each is shaded one time out of three parts and in final two portions are shaded out of three so this is your second third one is three into three over four you can connect it because this is the only left figure and to check it three are shaded out of four and when you combine it it becomes two and one over four that is four to the eight plus one nine over four so what does it also means it can also means two whole parts that means two figures will be completely shaded as you can see here two figures are completely shaded and the third one is one over fourth this is how this figure can be represented as you can see here that one out of four is shaded that is how you represent in mixed fraction that was the question number second third multiply and reduce to lowest form so first of all we will multiply these all and then we will make them to reduced form that is no common factor should be there so important thing is lowest form after multiplications first one is 7 to 3 is 21 over 5 and the 5 and to reduce it so 5 4 is the 20 therefore 4 whole parts and 1 is remainder therefore 1 over 5 4 and 1 over 5 is your answer now second 4 into 1 is 4 easy 3 into 1 is 3 4 over 3 now 3 1 is a 3 so 1 whole part and the remainder was 1 over 3 this is your second third is 6 to the 12 and 7 1 the 7 therefore 12 over 7 and now 7 1 the 7 and remainder is 12 minus 7 is 5 so 5 over 7 that is your third fourth 5 to the 10 over 9 1 the 9 and now 9 1 the 9 and 1 is remainder over 9 that is 1 and 1 over 9 is your fourth part here 4 to the 8 and 3 into 1 is 3 so 8 over 3 now 3 to the 6 and 8 minus 6 is 2 over 3 this is how you do it in fast way sixth prior multiplying you can see that it can be deducted so 1 to the 2 3 to the 6 now 5 3 is the 15 so simple no fraction left now 11 into 4 is 44 over 7 and you know 7 6 are 42 and 44 minus 42 is 2 therefore remainder 2 over 7 so 6 and 2 by 7 for your 7th part now 8th part 20 
into 4 by 5. Here yeah, you can reduce it. 1 5 is a 5, 4 5 is a 20. Now 4 4 is a 16, 16. Complete number. Now here 13 is a prime number. So 13 over 3 and 3 4 is a 12 and 1 is remainder. Therefore 4 and 1 over 3 is your answer for ninth part. Last. 3 into 3 is 9, but you can first reduce it. 1 5 is a 5, 3 5 is a 15, and 3 3 is a 9. Therefore, complete whole part. The answer is 9. So that was your question number 3rd. Fourth. Shade first. Half of the circles in a box. And then second, 2 by 3rd of the triangles in the box B. And 3 by 5 of the squares in box C. So what you have to do here is you have to circle. First, you have to find how many circles you have to shade in figure A. So this can be calculated. Total number of circles is 12. And it is written 1, 2, off. Off means multiplications. Remember, in mathematics, off means multiplication. So 1 over 2 into 12. 1 to the 2, 6 to the 12. The main thing is here to learn is, and what you also learned in this exercise is off means multiplication. So we will mark 6 in this. Now 2 by 3 of the triangle. So first of all, we will count the triangles and remember off means multiplication. So total triangle is 3, 3 is a 9 and triangles to be shaded are 2 by 3 into 9. So cutting opportunity, 3, 3 is a 9. So 3, 2 is a 6. So we will color 6 of them. Now same thing for the last part. Off means multiplication. First of all, we will count the number of squares. So it is 5 into 3. So 5 to the 15 and the number of squares to be shaded are 3 by 5 of 15. So 1 5 is a 5, 3 5 is a 15 and 3 3 is a 9. So straight away we will color or shade 9 of them. So that is how you do your question number 4. 5th. Find A half of 24 and 46 2 by 3 of 18. So we have to do them individually. Similarly, for C and D is 4 by 5 of 20 and 35. So, off means again multiplication. So, 1 over 2 into 24. 1 to the 2, 12 to the 24. And 12 into 1 is 12. Here, half of 46. Now, 1 to the 2, 2 to the 4, and 2, 3 to the 6. 23 into 1 is 23. This is your A part. 2 by 3 of 18. Multiplication with 18. 1, 3 is a 3. And... 6 3 is a 18. Now multiplication by 2 gives you 12. Now here 1 3 is a 3 and 9 3 is a 27. And multiplication by 2 gives you 9 2 is a 18. That was your B part. Now C. 3 by 4 of 16. So we will write it and also with 36 we will write them. Now 1 4 is a 4, 4 4 is a 16 and 4 3 is a 12. Now 1 4 is a 4, 9 4 is a 36, 9 3 is a 27. So that was your C part. Now D part, 4 by 5 of 20 and similarly you can write 4 by 5 of 35. Now 1 5 is a 5, 4 5 is a 20 and 4 4 is a 16. Here 1 5 is a 5, 7 5 is a 35. So learn your tables now to make it fast. 7 4 is a 28. That was your D part and that is how you do your question number 5. Sixth. Multiply and express as a mixed fraction. So first of all, you have to multiply them and then you have to represent them in terms of mixed fraction. So first is, first we will write 3 into as it is. Now we will open it. 5 5 is a 25 plus 1 is 26 over 5. Now we can multiply it. 6 3 is a 18. 1 is remainder. 3 2 is a 6 plus 1 is 7. So 78 over 5. Now Remember, we have to represent them in terms of mixed fraction. So we can write as 5 15s are 75 and 3 is remainder. Therefore, 15 and 3 and 5. Or you can say 15 and 3 by 5 is your answer for A. Now B part. Writing 5 into as it is. Now opening this, 6 4 is a 24 plus 3 is 27. That is 27 over, over 4. Now multiplication, 7 5 is a 35. Add to the 10 plus 3 is 135 over 4. Now mixed fraction, 4 3 is a 12 and 1 5. That means 4 3 is a 12 and 3 is remainder. 
so 33 and 3 over 4 is a mixed fraction c part 7 into as it is now 4 to the 8 plus 1 9 over 4 multiplication 7 9 is a 63 over 4 15 4 is a 60 and 3 is the remainder so you write 15 and 3 by 4 as your mixed fraction for question number c now d part 4 into as it is 6 3 is a 18 plus 1 19 over 3 now multiplying it 9 4 is a 36 3 carry 4 1 is a 4 plus 3 is 76 over 3 and we have to also write it in terms of mixed fraction so this will be 25 3 is a 75 1 is remainder so 25 and 1 over 3 is your answer for d 4 3 is a 12 plus 1 is 13 over 4 now we can see cutting opportunity 2 to the 4 3 to the 6 so never miss this opportunity in order to ease your calculation that is 39 over 2 19 to the 38 and 1 is remainder there for 19 and 1 over 2 is your answer for your e part last f 5 3 is a 15 plus 2 17 over 5 into 8 as it is now you can multiply 8 sounds of 56 5 is carry 8 plus 5 is 13 over 5 now we have to represent in terms of mixed fraction this can be done as 27 5 is 135 and 1 is remainder therefore you can say that the answer is 27 and 1 over 2 so this is your f part and that was your question number 6 now again the same thing just with mixed fraction 5 or 8 of 3 and 5 by 6 and 9 and 2 by 3 so here we go we will just first of all write them 1 over 2 into 2 and 3 by 4 off means multiplication this is simple step you got it now we will open it 4 to the 8 plus 3 is 11 over 4 now 11 over 8 or 8 wins are 8 3 is remainder and 1 and 3 by 8 now again here and for the 36 plus 2 is 38 over 9 now multiplication 38 over 9 to the 18 now cutting opportunity 9 to the 18 19 to the 38 now 9 to the 18 and 1 is remainder because it is 19 so 2 and 1 over 9 so that was your seventh question a part now 5 by 8 of 3 and 5 by 6 we will write them in both the ways or for both 1 and 2 now we will solve them so 18 plus 5 is 23 and here 27 plus 2 29 over 3 so we are doing simultaneously obviously you have to do it individually 5 is a 15 5 is a 10 plus 1 is 11 and here 8 is a 24 and 5 9 is a 45 4 5 to the 10 plus 4 is 14 so 145 over 24 now 48 2 is a 96 and remainder is 19 so 2 and 19 over 48 you can go it with your long form of division if you find some problem so 2 and 19 over 48 now here 24 6 are 144 again you can go with your long form of multiplication remainder is 1 therefore answer is 6 and 1 over 24 so that is how you do your mixed fractions last question Vidya and Pratap went for a picnic their mother gave them a water bag that contained 5 liters of water. Vidya consumed 2 by 5 of the water. Now Pratap consumed the remaining water. How much water did Vidya drink? You have to find that. And second, what fraction of the total quantity of water did Pratap drink in terms of fraction? So here you can visualize them, both brother and sister. Their mother gave them 5 liters of water. So total quantity in the water bag is 5 liters as you can see. Consumed by Vidya is 2 by 5 of that 5 liter. So 5 5 cancel cutting opportunity. So 2 liter. Answer is 2 liter. Vidya drank 2 liter. Now what fraction did Pratap drunk? So the concept is total bottle means 1. So you have to subtract 2 by 5 from it. Because whole bottle was 1 full. So 1 minus 2 by 5. And you have to make them like in order to subtract so multiplication with 5 in 1 gives you 5 over 5 minus 2 over 5 
Now they are like, you can subtract, that is 3 over 5. The fraction that Pratap drank was 3 over 5. So this is your last question, question number 8.